cows alone uh, account for about 6% of global emissions. And so we need to change cows. Uh, cows. We need to change cows. We need to eat synthetic beef. I promise there's no side effects. Yeah, can we finally power down Bill Gates, please? Who is this person who speaks to me as though I needed his advice? He said this a while back, but anyone with this lack of humility and self-awareness should be summarily ignored. We need to change the cows? Human beings have consumed beef since prehistoric times, but if Bill Gates says so, we must obey? But Bill Gates is smart. Yeah, maybe when it comes to software development, that's his specialty. As Thomas Sowell pointed out, being smart in one thing doesn't make you smart in all things. Uh, but they step outside their field. And uh, when you step outside your level of uh, specialty, sometimes that's like st stepping off a cliff. So if he wants to talk about software, fine. Changing the cows? No. Vaccines? No. Epstein Island? Sure. Epstein's apartment? Fine. He knows his stuff there. Of course, Fauci is just as arrogant. They are the wise and noble, forcing the rest, forcing the rest of us poor dummies uh, to do what's right, uh, you know, e e even though we don't want to. But they're really criticizing science because I represent science. I represent science. You don't say. We represent the science round here, the science round here, the science round here. When you're this certain and this arrogant as an expert who's supposed to be objective, you might be playing into people's biggest fears about personal safety. Is it safe? Is it safe? Is it safe? Look, I tell you, I can't do it. Look how those right-wingers are inspiring fear and violence. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness! Actually, maybe I got this wrong. I thought it was about some guy being totally unhinged about someone not wearing their mask. Maybe the mask guy is just upset about inflation. I mean, the Costco worker is holding this pricing gun very threateningly. Hey, speaking of guns, is Alec Baldwin ever going to be charged? Will he ever be punished at all? I guess Hollywood will have to do it, huh? No Academy Awards for Baldwin for 10 years. That seems to be a popular punishment. Brief word, everybody. I need your help. So subscribe, like, hit the bell, comment. Thank you. We're going to seize their yachts, their luxury homes, and other ill-begotten gains of Putin's kleptocracy, uh, yeah, kleptocracy, and klep the guys who are the kleptocracies. <laughs> what? Uh-oh, Biden's trying to answer a question. Get this man an Easter bunny, stat. The Department of Labor has released a stunning report showing the highest rate of inflation by far since 1981. Inflation? Oh, I'm sorry, I mean the Putin price hike. <laughs> is freaking everybody out. It's topping the polls as the biggest problem by far. So our leader did what any good leader would do. He ran off into the woods and had a chat with some lady about climate change. <laughs> oh, and then he made a promise about our military vehicles. In the United States military, every vehicle is going to be climate friendly. Every vehicle. We're gonna have a, no, I, I mean it. We're spending billions of dollars to do it. All the military vehicles are going to be going green. Yeah, because that's important. When we're blowing things up as far as the eye can see, turning the landscape into a smoking crater, we'll be doing it with clean energy. Good thinking. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. After it was then announced that the economy officially shrank last quarter. GDP, first look, first quarter, is a nasty minus 1.4. Biden immediately jumped into action, promising $33 billion to Ukraine. Hmm, I'm just curious. When the water came up to the knees of the captain of the Titanic, did he talk about repairing other ships? But hey, I don't want to be disinformative. Elon Musk buying Twitter is still bubbling. He paid a lot of money for it. $44 billion. That's a ton. I did the math. That's 88,000 Hunter paintings. There's reactions to talk about and reactions to the reactions to the reactions to talk about. Joe Rogan reacted like he was calling an MMA knockout. It happened. Oh, yeah. shit! <laughs> Another interesting example. AOC tweeted out about Musk's ego and Musk trolled her, telling her to stop hitting on him. Twitter reacts with the hashtag, AOC loves Elon. I jab my response and I instantly become an internet hero. Okay, no, not really. But you should still follow me. Coop at Clown Popper. Elon's purchase has shined a light on the complete hypocrisy of the left. The cognitive clogging is staggering. You don't even have to be transparent. You could secretly ban one party's candidate or all of its candidates, all of its nominees. Or you could just secretly turn down the reach of their stuff and turn up the reach of something else. And Are you gaslighting me? Boy, the left really doesn't like to look at itself, does it? That can be a jarring experience. 
So let's just avoid all that by projecting our garbage entirely onto our opponent. Problem that's bigger than Elon Musk. What the, what the right has already seized is this ground that they're on the side of free speech. They're really not. They're for the political version of yelling fire in a movie theater. That's right, Nicole Wallace. The left doesn't shout fire in a movie theater. The left sets fire to the movie theater. Or is it the courthouse or the car lot or the apartment building? The idea that Twitter would be like it was six years ago was unfathomable to Brian Stelter. If you get invited to something where there are no rules, where there is total freedom for everybody, do you actually want to go to that party? Welcome to the party, Brian. Rule number one, you can't bring your mother again. Rule number two, stop smiling with that creepy smile of yours. Who the hell smiles with their teeth clenched together? Who do you think you are, the Joker or something? <laughs> Thing is, Elon Musk isn't a right winger. Musk is potentially taking the foot off the throats of conservatives. And that very prospect alone has catalyzed the Democrats to create a disinformation board. Let me get this straight. Having spoon-fed sycophantic journalists isn't enough. They need a full Baghdad Bob division. No matter what they say, obviously the focus will be taking out Trump and his allies in the name of disinformation. The fact that they won't allow the marketplace of ideas to exist without tipping the scales confirms the suspicions of shadiness. I wonder who exactly the government's going to get for this division. Will it be the gang from CNN Plus? I think they'll be available. This is CNN Plus. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Be sure to pass around to anybody who might like my content. And I'll see you the next time.